So what's going on guys, Kades here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the highest damage sorcerer build in Diablo 4. So at the start I will explain how to play this class. Then we will look into the best skills, paragon setup, what gems and gear should you equip so you would get the highest DPS possible and much more. So if this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. So Sorcerer in the endgame is one of the highest damage classes with pure spellcasting skills, by using fire and ice magic with high AV and crowd control. This Sorcerer can be played with ranged spells to deal damage from afar safely, or you can turn her into a battle mage for more up close playstyle. When your teammates pull all the enemies very close to each other, this Sorcerer will unleash her massive arsenal of AV skills, which will do massive amounts of damage. So overall this is the perfect build for players that love strategic gameplay, with good damage, a high skill cap and much more. This build guide is split into two parts. The first part is the ice shards leveling build, so to go from level 1 to 50. And then the second part is the full end game build, which will require at least level 50. So with that said, let's move over to the leveling build. So to start off from getting to level 3, we have to put 2 points into these 2 nodes. Then from level 4 to 7 we spend 4 more points in here. Then from level 8 to 15 we will get 8 more points, which we wanna use by getting all of these nodes. Then from level 16 to 28 we will get 12 more points, which we should spend by unlocking and upgrading all of these nodes. Then from level 29 to 35 you will get 6 points, that you should spend on these other nodes. And then lastly from level 32 to 49 we will get 17 points, which we should spend on these specific nodes. And by the way, if I went too fast, then you are feel free to check out this video's description, where you can see this build on a website. And then finally, don't forget about your renown, which after you gather all the renown in the game, you will get 10 extra skill points. I recommend to spend them towards your leveling progression, that I just explained a second ago. And then in the endgame build, I will show you where you should spend your 10 leftover skill points. So then with that said, leveling up in Diablo 4 is similar to most other MMOs. So for the most part, this will mean that you have to constantly replace one rare item with a better one, all the way up to level 50. Generally, you want to have a one-handed weapon plus focus, instead of a two-handed weapon. Mostly because focus can roll cooldown reduction, and it is by far the best stat that you can have. So then for your weapon stats, you want to get close damage, vulnerable damage, and damage versus crowd control. Then as for your clothes, the armor pieces typically grant us defensive and utility stats, except gloves which will offer us offense. So for the helmet, try to get cooldown reduction and hydra ranks. Then for chest armor, get armor and damage. Then for gloves, get eye shards ranks. Then for pants, get armor and intelligence. For boots, get movement speed, mana cast reduction and frost nova ranks. Then for jewelry, specifically for your amulet, get the cooldown reduction, mana cast reduction and movement speed. And finally for both rings, get close damage, vulnerable damage and damage versus crowd control. And last but not the least, don't forget to not upgrade armor or jewelry while leveling. I only recommend to socket armor with rubies, jewelry with skulls, weapons with the emeralds and save the rest of your upgrades for your level 50 build. So then in my final summary for your leveling setup. The Ice Shard Sorcerer is fun and powerful leveling build that simply just requires for you to spam the Ice Shard spell to do massive amounts of damage. I suggest to only use Frost Nova when there are more than 3 enemies nearby, so this will make that its cooldown is a lot shorter. And then lastly, remember to use Teleport, Ice Armor and Flame Shield skills to stay alive and dodge the enemy attacks, and that's about it. So then let's move over to the second part where I will show you how your endgame sorcerer build will look like. So by this point you should be familiar with the ice shards playstyle, what gear stats you should look out for and etc. So as I did the most explaining at the start, right now I will just show you the setup that you want to use. I myself with my friends tested multiple setups and this one was the best one. So first of all for your skills we want to use the ice shards, meteor, frost nova, teleport, ice armor and flame shield. And for enchantments, get the ice shards enchantment and firebolt enchantment. And as for your gear, we already discussed what stat to look out for. So we want to get the frost blitz glorious hood and sock it in one ruby gem. Then for chest armor, get the raiment of the infinite and sock it in two more ruby gems. Then for gloves, get the bone wave gauntlets of control. Then for legs, get the adventurer's pants of disobedience and sock it in two more ruby gems. 
then for boots get the adventurer's boots of fortune then for the jewelry specifically for the amulet get the elementalist choker and for the first ring get the accelerating circle and for your second ring get the concede band and then finally for your weapon equip bone wand of piercing cold and sagatin the emerald gem and for your offhand get the storm swell runic orb and sagatin one more emerald gem then moving forwards and this is how your skill tree will look like if you just came from the leveling build then this is very similar so again just copy these exact upgrades and feel free to check this video's description for the website build and again don't forget that by gathering all the renown in the game you will get 10 extra skill points and then finally we have the paragon system at first it might seem overwhelming but if you're like me who's played all the previous diablo games then this is quite self-explanatory so starting off this is how your first 25 points should be spent so we want to use the starting board and for our glyph select the destruction then this is how it should look like at around 64 points so we get the elemental summoner board and for the glyph select the impiber then this is how it should look like at around 118 points so we select the burning instinct board and for the glyph select exploit and then lastly this is our final goal at around 150 points so we want to get the frigid fade board and for the glyph select elementalist and again all of this is on the build website as well so then in my final summary this build transforms your sorcerer into an ice based machine gun that can shoot out ice shards at around 1000 rounds per minute with its great single target dps and relatively long range this build can speed run to any nightmare dungeon for your spell rotation i recommend to start the fight by using the avalanche together with the fireball enhancement and this will solve your mana problem then afterwards stack cooldown reduction mana cost reduction and resource generation that will give your shatter back and also acquire burning synergies despite appearance frost nova is the strongest offensive skill on our bar a single use of it will usually clear the entire screen so make sure you use it on groups of enemies and then finally activate your ice armor and flame shield which will keep you alive even in the most difficult battles so if you want to become a sorcerer with a machine gun then this is the build for you so just spam ice shards and have fun